uh, our webinar. Um, to get started, if you haven't already answered the polling questions, go ahead and do so now. Um, we will also, um, you're, you're more than likely listening to your, uh, the audio through your computer speakers. If you have any trouble at any time listening um, to the webinar, then what you can do is call in to the 866-803-3878 number that's available in your chat pod. And uh, you don't need a passcode or anything. And when you call in, your phone will be muted. Um, so uh, throughout the webinar, if you have any questions, go ahead and answer them or ask them in the chat pod. And I will uh, try to keep an eye on that. And I'll, I'll go through those and uh, make sure I uh, answer your questions in the webinar. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to switch over. Let me go ahead and clear everybody's um, information. Well, that's OK. OK, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to our next page. first time that uh, some of you have heard of um, some of the members of our LMI WorkNet team. And if so, welcome. Uh, we're really excited that you are um, now have your Workforce Professionals account set up and that we can offer you resources to help you um, with uh, your daily activities. So we're going to start out with uh, going over some background information and some resources that are available uh, for your customers. And then we'll take a look at some of the tools that are available to you as a workforce professional through Illinois WorkNet. And then we'll take a look at some next steps. So to start out with, um, everyone should probably be uh, familiar with Illinois WorkNet, but just to uh, give you a brief overview is Illinois was released Elmi WorkNet was released in, I believe, June of 2005. And we started out with just a few pilot sites. We expanded. We started out with three, then we expanded out to uh, 10 more, and then we, we uh, expanded out across the entire um, It was released. Uh, we started out primarily with the individuals pathway. Um, and then we uh, started adding additional resources uh, to the business side. And through all this, we developed uh, the workforce professionals pathway. And as we continue to work with more groups, um, we continue to update all of these areas. And most recently, we have actually synced with IWDS. Uh, so we'll take a look at how that um, can help you. Within Illinois WorkNet, we do have the five pathways of individuals, businesses, key sectors, and disability resources, and the workforce professionals pathway. Today, we're going to primarily talk about the workforce pathway and the individuals pathway. On the individuals pathway, um, it's not required to have an Illinois WorkNet. an LMI WorkNet account. And this is good because this provides you with tools that you can use to uh, look at their activities, to look at their different assessments, to communicate with your customers, either through email or through other uh, messages within their LMI WorkNet account. And that information, as we move forward, um, will also be used to automatically update IWDS. So a person, once they have com they've been entered into IWDS and they have their email account, and it's really important that they have a correct, you know, professional email account. You know, you know this, but just to restate the obvious, it's important because they need to have a way of communicating with you. They need to have a professional way of communicating with employers to help them find a job. But then they also need to have an email account that they can access because once they are set up within IWDS, they will automatically receive an email with their username and a link and um, their temporary password so they can go in and um,
instructor, and we'll take a, a dem well, I'll do a demonstration here in just a little bit. But <clears throat> what we're uh, looking at right now is a <clears throat> what we call an authenticated uh, user's home page, so a person that already has their Elmley WorkNet account. And we have recently um, redesigned Elmley WorkNet. Uh, so if you haven't looked at it in a little while, the, some of the things you'll notice is we have a, a different look and feel, but we've also added the personalization tools as tabs across the top. So specifically, we have messages. So whenever you send a message to your customer, or if we send one on the, an update to LNI WorkNet, it'll go to their messages account. We have a skills tab, and this is where they'll have their skills and interest profilers. Where they and we also have a place for them to uh, take notes. <clears throat> they can also save shortcuts to different resources that are within um, Illinois WorkNet as well as external links as well. Uh, we do encourage the, uh, not only our uh, customers uh, but our workforce professionals as well um, to follow us using the Facebook, LinkedIn, um, you know, and receive the newsletters because that way you stay up to date on the resources that are available within Illinois WorkNet. We also have our step guides that are available. And so we have resources that are specifically for the laid off worker, um, company specific layoff information, veterans information, and uh, re uh, resources for a uh, person with disabilities. And as one of the things I want to point out is, as you'll notice on each of these pages, my personalized tabs go to that message tab. Um, it, I don't believe it goes to the message tab. It simply goes to an email, but we can. Let me make um, a note of that. And I can also have my programmers uh, send a copy to the message tab. I'm just taking a quick note here. And message to tab initial setup. Alrighty. Okay, thank you. So on our step-by-step -step, um, guidance, um, one of the things with, that's a little bit different with our step-by-step -step guides is we just want to provide you know, a simple way for them to walk them through the process. We know that different people are coming in to the site you know, with different um, histories, different you know, ways that they use sites. We have lots and lots of information within WorkNet. We have information to help people prepare uh, to, for their job search. We have information to help them find training programs. We have tools to help them find jobs and also to help them find support services. And what you'll notice with the new redesign is each of these areas have been color coded so that they can easily identify where they are within the site and, and the topic that they're, they're, that's being discussed. We also have um, a links for um, documents and videos and so forth that are available for each of these pages. So you'll see you can still keep your personalization tabs, but then you also have some additional tabs for you know, documents, videos, and links. And those documents, videos, and links are specific to the topic area. So we'll take a look at that in just a moment. Um, now, uh, another way to provide guidance to all the resources that are in Illinois WorkNet because we understand there is a lot of information in Illinois WorkNet and some people just may not know really where to begin. One of the places that they can begin is with their activities. We have an optional pre-assessment uh, that's available. Uh, we're going to be updating that as well. Um, finding a job. And so they can simply go to that activity. Uh, they can save their uh, responses as they go through that activity and mark it as complete so they can just easily uh, keep track of the information that they've already completed and refer back to that later on. At the end, we also have 
a post-assessment where they can take an unlimited number of times. Um, and as, once they score 70% or higher, then they have successfully completed that post-assessment. Throughout the activities, um, one of the areas that we cover is a skills and interest profiler. Um, this is uh, one of the types of self-survey assessments that are available through LMI WorkNet. And we'll take a look at these in just a moment, too. But you can uh, have your customer complete an interest profiler. And as a workforce professional on uh, your side of the uh, portal, then you'll be able to see the interest, skills and interest results. Assessment, which is our computer skills assessment. So one of the things, uh, we'll take a look at this uh, when we do the demonstration as well, but this provides uh, an easy way. We have a, the self-survey. You can print it out in paper form, or you can um, print it, or you can have them take it online. Um, we also have some resources to help get people started if they are really just very uncomfortable with computers. We can take them directly to a page where it literally gets them started on learning how to use a mouse and how to click and enter fields and so forth. So I'll show you that in just a little while. Now some of the tools for workforce professionals that are available to you. Uh, we have lots and lots of tools that are available <laughs> for you. Um, one of the neat things about Illinois WorkNet is its ability um, for you to have, be able to post local content. So if you have any news and events or maybe a workshop or a training, this is where it's really important to get your partners involved too. Um, they can become an editor. And they, but you can save time by having your partners um, uh, submit their own information. The editor can review the information and just post it uh, to Illinois WorkNet. So as we take a demonstration, I'll show you the, as we go through the demonstration, I'll show you uh, where the local content is located within Illinois WorkNet. But if you have any workshops, uh, uh, you know, different um, uh, job fairs that are coming up, uh, different job postings, uh, veterans resources, scholarship information, that can all be posted through LMI WorkNet. So the user will get statewide information, but then it's also customized for your local area because, of course, you know your local area better than anybody else. We also use the Workforce Pathway for reporting tools. Um, some of our partners, uh, you know, specific people uh, for each location, the We Funded Locations, uh, complete quarterly reports. Um, but then we've also used SYE, the Summer Youth Employment Program, um, the past couple of years whenever a person has completed their pre-assessment and their post-assessment and a worksite evaluation, uh, that information was used to automatically up We have online training courses, and the new course will be released. Uh, Mike Cook is another one of our team members here located in Springfield, Illinois. And he will be providing a webinar um, at August 4th and 5th, I believe. So at the end of this PowerPoint, there's a link where you can register online to learn more about the online course. And the online course will actually walk you through um, the information and familiarize you with the tools that are available within LMI WorkNet. We also have all kinds of marketing materials that are available um, to you as well. It can be anywhere from uh, photos that you can use, print materials, uh, posters, banners, signs, and so forth. The idea is that we want to be able to direct people to LMI WorkNet with a, a consistent message across the state, consistent look and feel across the state. And we don't want to have, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. We already have these marking materials.
And then we also have the different assessments. So as we looked at before, we had the self-survey uh, assessment, which the skills and interest profilers, as well as the uh, computer skills. And then we have just recently been adding um, some additional work readiness um, assessments as well. So we'll take a look at those. Now just to give you a little bit of history, we have all this information I've been talking about. We've been talking about guidance. We've been talking about work readiness tools and activities. I mean, it's not the, it's, it's based on the fact that we have lots and lots of feedback from the field. So we have um, this case manager workflow study that was uh, performed. We have uh, feedback from the local workforce investment areas. We have feedback from advisory groups, uh, task force committees, um, usability studies. Uh, so there's a lot of information. There's a lot of uh, feedback that is used to um, make changes to Illinois WorkNet. And so we always call those, our, those are our customer-driven changes. It's not just because that we align the workforce professional's pathway to case management. And I can show you, show you some of the changes that have been recently made. Um, we continue to develop activities, continue to develop uh, training modules. Um, we definitely want uh, you know, any of your feedback on how you use this with your daily activities so we can continue to identify best practices using IWDS and Illinois WorkNet, as well as um, you know, make additional changes um, and update the portal using guidance approaches. So we started, uh, you know, been using more and more of a guidance approach to WorkNet and we'll continue to do so. So what I'm saying here is that we definitely, we Okay, I have a Library. Um, as we ability registration and the Um, like and the recommended Force pathway.
an idea. The, the activity resources, pre-assessment, post-assessment, observational assessment, not the assessment, how that all fits in, um, and how that could a, a suggested way of using that based on the ca uh, case manager workflow study, um, how that can be incorporated into your your existing processes. For early adopters. Um, to start out with because we want to, you know, get the initial feedback and then we'll open that up to the rest of um, the WIA funded locations. And so what's kind of nifty about this assessment is that normally you have to pay for it, but um, we, as, by offering it to the workforce investment areas uh, through LMI WorkNet, it's um, an in-line process with NACTI. And so you can order your assessments. It's a 100-question uh, assessment. And um, you can order that through LMI WorkNet and um, just automatically distribute that to your customers through their um, LMI WorkNet accounts um, in a proctored environment. So your customer completes that assessment. And then you'll be able to see the results and so forth. And we then we have our completed by an instructor, um, and they can, you know, provide, you know, um, how they, how the person is doing, you know, over time, how they have used their workplace skills and demonstrated those. Um, so that they, uh, the instructor can complete an observational assessment, and all these assessments and the results are saved within the individual's account. So as you go in and look at their information, you can view um, how they've done on their assessments. And then we also have the worksite evaluation. And this one is currently completed um, by the employer, and the uh, workforce professional enters the, in the information into WorkNet. Um, one of the enhancements that we are going to be doing is making that so that the employer can automatically um, just enter in the worksite evaluation uh, directly. Okay. Uh, this is uh, the other tool. Uh, now, I had talked about you know, different assessments that you can view. I've talked about activities that you can view. I've talked about ways to communicate with your customers. And what the tool, the means that we use um, uh, a way to provide this, uh, these types of tools to you, is what we call our customer groups. So with our customer groups, you as IWDS case manager role, um, customers and syncing them to you, your, your workforce professionals account, so that you'll be able to see the same people that are identified as your customers in IWDS you'll be able to see them. They will automatically pop, be populated within your customer group. So you don't have to add people to your customer group. They will automatically be added there for you. So these are the folks that are um, identified as your customers in IWDS. But then you'll also be able to see um, the IWDS customers that you would normally be able to see for your entire OEA registered and exited. So um, those individuals are available um, for you to access the information through your customer group and through your IWDS customers. Again, you do not have to add them. They are automatically. Currently, what you can do is select your group, and you can send out an automatic message and email to all of them. And it could be, you know, we have a career fair coming up. We have a new workshop that we've just added. Um, we have this deadline. If you're interested in doing this or that, you know, this is the deadline. You can send those emails out to all of your customers. 
and it will also send a message to their, you can also choose to have it send a message to their Illinois WorkNet account. As we move forward, um, we are going to be updating the customer email so that you can send it to smaller groups or to individuals. So that's an enhancement that's, uh, that we're working on as well. And then we also have a tab for instructions. So if you ever have any questions, you can just simply go to the instructions tab. Information. Um, but within your customer group, you'll see uh, the username, the person's name, their username, date of birth, and their answer to their secret questions. One of the questions early on was, well, we have an individual who doesn't have an email account. How do I get their LMI WorkNet account? Well, first of all, it's really important to make sure that they have an, an email account when you set up their IWDS account um, because, uh, for number one, it will automatically send the um, Illinois WorkNet login information to their account. Um, if you happen to skip that page accidentally uh, whenever you are entering them into IWDS. Now, if you, if they, again, if they, if they an automatic email sent to them where they can reset their password. If they were set up and they never had a password, this is what you would need to do. You can go into your uh, customer group and you can tell them, obviously they know their name, but you can tell them what their username is and the date of birth that was used to create them, which is comes from IWDS. And then also the answer to their secret question they use forgot password, you can do that by entering your ID, uh, day of birth, and it's really important. Um, and the under you will be able to have
yes, you will. Okay. 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 So let me go ahead, and I'm just gonna. Oops. I lost my share pod. Let me go ahead and open up another one real quick. I'm going to share my computer screen, and I'm going to leave the file share um, pod. I'm sorry, not the file share. The chat pod up here so that you can still ask questions. And I believe Jeannie's on the uh, chat pod, so um, she can answer some of your questions too. And I'm going to share my desktop. If at any time, if you need to go ahead and uh, make this larger to full screen, um, you just there's a little button there, and you can click on full screen, and it makes it larger. I'm, okay, yep, it is Jeannie, so good deal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make my bit, but it might it'll probably be easier for you to see. Okay, so what you're seeing on my screen is um, I'm logged in as a case manager. And I went ahead and um, logged in. I, I, I'm in LNA Workdown. I'm on the Individuals Pathway. And so you'll be able to see um, my, my first screen. It says, Welcome, Kathleen. And at the top, you'll see instances where we have our messages. And then I'm going to click on each of these real quick. This one doesn't have any messages. And we have our skills and interests. Um, this is where that you can uh, complete the skills and interest profilers. And once you complete a skills and interest profiler, then you'll be able to save the results. And once those results are saved, then the individual can come back and take a look at the results. But then uh, you, can, you can look at their results as well. We have the activities. And so for example, I can uh, take the pre-assessment if I want to. Um, it's not required, but um, what we call we call those accordions. So you click on an accordion, you open it up. Anytime you enter um, one of these uh, links, and when you're in an activity, it opens up into a new small screen or a small window, I should say. And then that way, the person that's doing the activity, they don't lose their place in their activity. So even though I have gone here, I can go to Explore Job Information, and it still opens up in this small screen. So that's one of the nice features about the activities. Um, you can um, navigate to the previous and next activities or go back to home. Uh, once you've completed an activity and saved your uh, responses, then you will be able to, or actually once they just saved a response, then you will be able to see that within your, um, through the, your customer groups. You'll be able to see that. Okay, the next area we have is our step guides. And you'll notice that whenever I change through any of these areas, my tab my messages, skills, and activities, and notes along the top. One of the things that we have uh, with the step guides is um, we use an icon approach that you know, literally points to what you do next. Um, for example, whenever I go to one of these uh, areas, it will give me my recommended steps and links to information within um, that's related to that related to that topic, but then I also have videos that are available and a playlist. Okay. I'm going to go down to prepare. Now with the prepared area, again, <coughs> excuse me, it walks you basically walks you through the basic steps. You know, you need to get organized, take a look at your skills and interests, you need to, you know, set some goals. You know, get a general idea of wages and trends. You can explore job information. In one of your slides, one of the early slides, we talk about um, being able to access uh, 
like third party information or party from a, uh, information. uses and so what we can do is get uh, we're not the ones that are you know uh, updating all the labor market information we're pulling that information from the experts that do update that information so you can um, explore job information by using just a keyword um, you can do uh, using a menu items and so forth but one of the things that we uh, that's relatively uh, new is uh, we have added a, a demand occupation um, icon next to the occupations that are demand occupations. So once you do this, once you uh, see your list, then and let's see, I have licensed practical nurse. working conditions, skills and abilities, interest, knowledge, hiring practices, and so forth. And we can also go look at some training programs. So the idea is that they can use the information within WorkNet to make an educated decision or an informed decision, I should say, about the different jobs that are available out there and to best you know, help them identify whether that's going to be a good match for them or not. One of our uh, recently updated, another one of our recently updated areas is our prepare um, your resume section. So we have um, information to help them with and resources to help them with uh, writing the resume, uh, writing um, and, and posting it. We have our different um, tools that are available with the description. And then one of the things that we uh, are going towards, and you'll see we're incorporating it more and more throughout the site, is a rating system. So we're letting our customers provide feedback on what has worked for them. So we have, you know, this one has 13 ratings and that has a 4.2 average. You know, look at, you know, you can look at, uh, oops, this one has five ratings and it has a 3.2 average. So we're letting our customers provide their feedback on what has worked well for them. Um, so that's uh, something that's relatively new within the prepare section. One of the things that uh, with WorkNet, there, there is a lot of information within WorkNet. And so we needed a way to organize it so that people could easily find that information. So for documents, uh, we have you know, organize yourself, and then we have some of the resources, uh, documents, worksheets, activities that are specific to that topic area. Um, for the videos, again, videos that are um, available for this topic area, and then we also have links to information, again, organized by the topic area. Let me go down here to learn. Um, one of the things with, uh, that I mentioned before is you know, some people, they may have computer skills, but they may not feel all that comfortable with them. Um, we do have a computer skills self-survey. This is available in a print version, but it's also available um, online. And so with the computer skills self-survey, it basically uses a wizard approach. They just simply answer the questions and click Next. And based on their, uh, how they responded to the questions, it'll give them, um, it'll direct them, are you new, intermediate, or what, what, what level are you at? So we have uh, also recently updated that we have um, the here, the take online courses. So for example, I clicked on the basic computer skills. If you have a person that's just simply, I mean, they just know nothing about a computer, which is hard you know, to imagine but nowadays, but it, it does happen. the site and it'll walk them through you know just getting used to using the keyboard using the mouse and so forth um, but we also have some additional resources and this is relatively new so we don't have um, ratings there people haven't commented on the ratings yet because we just uh, updated that information but one of the things I wanted to point out too is on the intermediate uh, computer skills page
if you have order to have that type of IT career. So that's available through the computer skills um, page as well. Ooh, my page went goofy on me. Let me zoom back out here. OK. So um, we also have the Find Education and Training Program. So that's similar to what we had on or just to prepare for an interview or a skills test for an interview. Uh, we also have adult education programs. So there's, there's lots of resources here as well. We also have the Find a Job section. And for the Find a Job section, uh, some of our uh, recent changes we have um, include, we have the Indeed, um, Indeed.com search that's um, integrated into LMI WorkNet. Um, so that's one of the tools that's available. We also have an LMI WorkNet uh, job postings or job board posting area. And I, I had mentioned before with our PowerPoint that one of the neat things about LMI WorkNet is its ability for you to customize it for your location, for your area. And you'll But if you look over on the right-hand side, we'll have areas for local interest and then statewide interest. So we have areas uh, throughout the site where you can um, get local content on the right-hand side of the page as well. Then we also have um, service information for whether it's child care, connecting to child care information, health care, money management. Um, you may have some areas that need, you know, uh, people need transportation services. So there's all different types of resources available on the services page as well. I'm going to go to the Find a Location Near You. This is um, an example of how we have um, our, we can connect our uh, customers to uh, partners around the state. satellites, and then the partners. So for each of these, they can show hide the services that are available at that location. So they can take a look at the, what's available at that location before they actually go there. Now we have different types of partners. We have access partners, and we have dissemination partners. Access partners are those that have um, uh, computers that are available for their customers to be able to use them. And so those partners are the ones that show up with find a location near you. Um, but we also have dissemination partners um, that you know, work with customers, and they can use our marketing materials and resources and direct their customers there, but they just don't offer a location where a person can walk in and um, use a public computer. So that's a lot of information. <laughs> um, but I'm going to, before I run out of time, I want to go ahead and um, go over to, I'm logged in on the Workforce Professionals pathway. And as I mentioned before, we have um, been working on aligning resources within Illinois WorkNet to your uh, WIA continuum of services. So we have, um, under case management, we have an area for universal services. the interactions with the customer, IWDS, but then also suggestions on how an online work net can be used in your daily activities. So throughout these pages, you'll have links to other resources within LMI WorkNet, um, primarily on the Workforce Professionals Pathway, because the Workforce Professionals Pathway provides you, you know, more background information and additional resources. Um, in some cases, will take you, you know, directly over to the Individuals Pathway. So we have uh, another uh, relatively or new page is our job club, job club page um, that was uh, just released. So you can incorporate LMI WorkNet into your job clubs. 
We have assessment resources. Um, this covers you know, different types of assessments, but then also specifically assessments that are available within Illinois WorkNet. Uh, we have the computer skills, networking, um, you know, special accommodations, social media, but then another area that might be of interest to you besides those is a way, um, a suggestions on you know, incorporating Illinois WorkNet into You know how you're, the materials that you're using within your workshop as well, and we can post those as you know best practices uh, within Illinois WorkNet. Okay, I'm going to go. Those are some of the resources on the resources page. It's specifically you know different tools, and they will link you back over to some of the other tools that we have on WorkNet, or that I'm going to show you in just a minute. Now I'm logged in as a case manager, and um, this is what you can expect to see. Um, as I mentioned, my programmers are using you know, a systematic approach to um, syncing all of the customers with your accounts, because we don't want to just do the big bang and blow everything up. We're, we're, they're using a systematic approach so that um, we make sure that everybody gets um, associated with the right case manager and, and so forth. So groups. So when you go here, you'll automatically see your customers. Uh, you can also choose to set up your own personal customer groups with using the invitation process. But it's really um, not necessary for uh, you, maybe, because um, I, I can't think of a situation where you'll have people outside of your IWDS group. But if you have people that are not in IWDS that you need to have in a group, then um, that, that's an approach you could use. But anyway, all of your people, uh, your IWDS people, are automatically put into Only WorkNet. So you don't have to go through any other processes to get them in there. Once they're in IWDS, then they'll automatically be in a customer group for your LWEA. So you can see that you have your, your person, their contact information. You can look at their customer uh, summary. You can look at their uh, employee evaluations and their observational assessment. Let me switch over to my customer groups um, real quick. And then that way you can see an example of what it looks like whenever you have their a result in the page. OK. So this is an example of a person that has already completed uh, some of their My Activities. So I go to their customer summary. I can see their pre and post assessment scores. And I can click here to see the details for that particular set of activities that they have already completed. This is the question, or this is the first area. Um, this, and for this particular one, they, I just kept simple answers in here. But um, list your top three interest profiler types, artistic, oops, artistic, realistic, and social. Uh, click on the type, of, uh, click on one of the types in your interest profiler results, and I put down here nurse. But as you go through, you can have your customers complete their activities, and you can see their uh, responses. So whatever they type in and save you'll be able to see through their activity summary. Let's go back to here. Um, whenever you click on uh, View Interests, go in here and they can see that, oh, they you know social was number one, investigative was number two, conventional number three. So I can take a look at uh, those results through uh, customer groups. I can either enter 
or look at uh, past uh, worksite evaluations. This one, um, I don't have a, a worksite evaluation in this particular one. That's something that an employer um, completes, and that information is available. I'll show you that as well. But then we also have the observational assessment. So the observational assessment is a new assessment that was recently released. It was uh, developed by the Chicago Workforce Investment Council. Let me go back and start a new one. And it's really easy. Um, you just simply, you can click on each of these. For this one, it has appearance and hygiene. And let me zoom in a little bit so it's easier to see. We have the rubric information that's available, dress according to define norms in the workplace and so forth. I can either click yes or no. In I have to have either two or higher in all the other categories. So for each of these, I can expand them out. So I don't need a separate piece of paper that has the rubric information. All the rubric information is uh, right there and available at my fingertips. Let me just go ahead and complete this and save my submit my summary. And I can see uh, the rubric that was uh, put, that was available for or that that defined the level that was um, indicated. And I could say yes, they've met all the requirements, and I could save that assessment. So all these assessments that are saved, you'll be able to see for that person. So if I go back in here for my observational assessment. Now I have two observational assessments that are available. And you can see when the evaluation was completed. Okay. We also have the ability uh, for you to send customer emails. Now right, you can either send an email only, a user me message only, or both. Simply type in the subject, type in the email text, and uh, send the message. Now whenever you send the message, it will um, put basically your signature on the message and so that the person knows who the information is coming And then again we have instructions that are available. Now as we move forward we're going to start using more of the tab approach and the workforce pathway but until um, as you know until we get that up there at the top, you'll, get, you'll have a tab or a, a page on the a link on the left-hand side called My Tools. And so, if you want to learn more about these assessments, um, we have the NACTI assessment, which will only be available for um, a limited number of people to initially. But then, um, the plan is in September to or October, I mean October, to release that to um, all of the workforce investment areas. Then we have the observational assessment, which is I just showed you what that looked like, but it gives you, you know, background information, um, how it's recorded, how it's scored, and, and so forth. And then the same goes for the uh, worksite evaluation. So all the evaluations are under my tools. And you'll be able to see more and more things that are going to be um, uh, popping up under your my tools that will be available for you. So that's a quick overview of the resources within Illinois WorkNet. There's a lot there, um, but I want to make sure and encourage you to um, take a look at those resources. Workforce Professional Pathway Tools and Resources. Uh, we want to make sure that you sign up for that Certified Illinois WorkNet Advisor um, online course. That will be next week. And that will really give you an overview of um, the, real, the resources that are within um, Illinois WorkNet. And then you know, use your activities with your customers. I'm, running, I'm getting closer to the end of time. I know your time is very valuable. So, um, but I would... Um, hope that if you could go ahead and answer the polling questions for me. And if you have any other questions, um, I'll take a look at
them as people are answering the polling questions. OK. I'll just ask Jeannie real quickly. Are there any questions that I need to specifically answer that you haven't already taken care of? OK. Um, yes, Chris, OK. Looks like Jeannie has been answering all of them. Okay, good deal. Okay, um, let me just quickly go through um, the questions. It's really important, um, and and I, in my opinion, really important that they have an appropriate email. But you know, I guess for starters, any email that they actively use uh, would be okay. Um, but really, you know, for it's for all the above. Um, you know, we want to make sure that they're able to communicate with employers. That's why it's obviously better to have a professional email. Um, definitely want to make sure that they're able to get their only WorkNet account information, and also so you can communicate with customers. So it's really all the above. Um, let's see, do you have to put your IWDS customer in a group? The answer is no, you don't. It's automatic. Um, you'll be able to see <clears throat> as we move forward. Um, hopefully, I, hopefully that sync will be complete. Um, group. OK, and what can you do through your customer groups? OK, I kind of tried to trick you a little bit. Um, the only thing, you can do all of these, but the only thing you can't do right now is view the resumes. Um, to view the resume or the resumes, they would need to use those, uh, the tools on the Prepare Your Resume page and uh, make those available uh, through that location or through that uh, site. So right now, you cannot view resumes through the customer groups, but you have all different types of other things that you can use. Okay. Okay. Well, I look forward to um, looking at all your responses as the things that you're interested in. Um, I don't have anything that can replace tape. Oh, one of the things I, I wanted to make sure that everyone knows. And, and whenever we are releasing the NOCTI assessment to everyone, um, and we'll be releasing it includes you know, all, the, all the workplace skills that are not occupation specific. And so the NOCTI assessment um, covers uh, the skills that are not occupation specific. So uh, that, that, that's good. Okay. okay. Well, everyone, thank you very much. I appreciate you taking time. You didn't have an op opportunity to download the materials today. Sign up for need more dates. Through the we have. Amen.